Well, hello. It's Wednesday. It is uh, the 21st of August. That means it's T141 uh, and it's journal number 146. Um, today was interesting in, in a number of different respects. First, it started with uh, creating authors pages for both Amazon and a, and a site called Goodreads. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. But I guess it's what authors do because that's what I spent the morning doing. Um, but after that, I, I actually uh, got in the car with a friend and drove to the City of Hope in Duarte, which was odd because I didn't have a medical visit. It was the first time I've ever been out there that I can remember. Uh, where I didn't get to see a doctor, a nurse practitioner, or have myself, you know, have have someone poke me or prod me or stick me or um, perform any one of a number of different tortures on me. Um, but I was a guest at a patient and family advisory council meeting. And uh, it's a fairly large council, uh, very representative, uh, widely diverse. Um, patients, caregivers, staff, um, all together to create a more powerful and positive um, interaction for patients and families uh, who interact with the City of Hope. And uh, I went for a number of reasons, not the least of which is the possibility of joining the council as a, a member, just a way to give something back if I can. And that would be a good place to start, I think. Um, for a number of different reasons, not the least of which, once again, is, is that I'm fascinated by culture, um, organizational culture, individual um, beliefs and, and actions, principles, values, and things like that. And, and culture is an extension of that. But the culture at the, at the City of Hope is so different from anything else I've ever encountered. And, and I've been close up and personal with a number of different corporate cultures and association cultures over the years. And, you know, close enough to see what works and what doesn't. And, and as I mentioned before, my, my passion is, is leadership and, and management. And so much of that has to do with the culture that you create. Um, and as a business owner, um, whether you like it or not, whether you realize it or not, you're in the process of creating a culture for your business. You know, your business, in a small business setting at least, your business being um, a direct result or a direct image of your principles and values, your, your uh, uh, likes and dislikes, your expectations, um, your personality. And uh, as an owner, you tend to hire those people with whom you get along best, not necessarily always the best people for the job because you have to work with them. So um, as a business owner, you example culture for your business, what you like, what you don't like. Um, if, if a clean shop is important to you, then if you're walking through the shop and you see something that, that you see a shop towel on the floor, or if you see something that needs to be picked up, you pick it up, you put it away. If other people see the boss do it, then they'll do it. So as, as, a, as a business owner, you example culture. As a, uh, a client, as a customer, um, you get to experience culture. As, as a patient of the City of Hope, I get to experience that culture on a regular basis and uh, was immersed in it for quite some time and got to see it and how it works and, and uh, how those interactions work. And as a um, 
as an observer, as somebody watching um, that culture, uh, I have to tell you, I, I'm, I'm awed by it. Uh, it is something to behold. It, it is something that's real. It's tangible. You can feel it. You can feel the difference when you're there. Um, everyone involved there is is focused on achieving the best possible patient and family experience that they can. And this is not meant to be a commercial for the City of Hope, by the way. Um, although it could be, and it probably should be. But, you know, as somebody who's run into cultures that are monolithic and malignant, um, that are not patient-centric at all, uh, or not customer-centric or client-centric at all, um, you appreciate very quickly what a difference the difference makes. And being at the council meeting, what they call a PFAC, Patient Family Advisory Council meeting today, just reinforced everything I believed um, about the City of Hope it's, and its culture based upon my experience. Um, you had 20 people, close to 20 people, 20 people, um, working together, diligently working together to address issues focused on making the interaction between patients and the entire organization at City of Hope better. And, and better can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but in general, um, from what I experienced out there and from what I saw from the meeting today, better is a seamless experience of care and hope and diligent effort to work on not only the, the health of the patient, and a positive outcome there, but also to work on what the family and the caregiver experiences um, in taking care of the patient. Everywhere you go, you're gonna be confronted with culture. Sometimes we recognize it for what it is, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we fail to name it. Um, but realistically, every family has a culture, every group has a culture, every organization has a culture. Uh, nations have cultures, have a culture, predominant culture. In our case, in America, multiple cultures. Um, I've never seen one run with as much focus and as much concern as um, a city of hope. And, and, and I can give you another example of that. There, I was involved in an incident in the city of hope where there was a, a problem that caused a, an ex what they felt was an excessive wait time. And I wrote, a, uh, I wrote an email to a friend who's very involved at the City of Hope, who forwarded it to the people that would make a difference. And they were on it immediately. That, that email just migrated throughout the whole organization to everyone who could possibly uh, make a difference. I have a problem with my water bill. I called Golden State Water Company, spoke to a, a, a representative, spoke to a supervisor who in turn is supposed to be talking to his supervisor and felt at no time that they cared about me or anything other than my paying their bill. Uh, 
I would say it was a matter of benign neglect, but there was nothing benign about it. And the result will be letters to the investigative journalistic teams at a number of the, the stations here in Los Angeles, um, a letter to the city of Simi Valley, and a letter to the Public Utilities Commission. Uh, and if you know me and you know me well enough, you know I'm not gonna let this go. Not until I get a, an, an answer that I feel is satisfactory. So you can see that the, the two cultures juxtaposed next to each other and, and you can see the difference. One is based on care and concern. One is based on, I'm not even sure what adjectives to use to describe it. I think it's worthwhile to think about culture. Think about it in your family, think about it in your business, think about it in your workplace, think about it in the medical context where you, you um, go for, for treatment, uh, for care, because it's important. These aren't just words. These outcomes have um, serious impl implications, especially if you're ill. Um, the culture, it, I feel, the culture at the City of Hope helped me get better, faster, and continue to do so. Because I believe with a perfect faith that everybody there really cares about whether or not I get better. So um, I think it's worth considering in every commercial and um, familial interaction that you have. What kind of culture are you dealing with? Uh, what does it represent? Is it consistent with your values? And then take it from there. And I'll leave you with that homework for this evening. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Stay well, take care. Look forward to chatting with you again then. Bye-bye.